Hey, welcome back to Baird's Grid. On this channel, we do math tutorials and making education technology easy for you. Now, what I would like to do today is run through an application because a lot of schools now are, are coming to the end of the year and online school is finishing. Um, I want to show you an application where you can continue learning your mathematics or your students can start continue learning mathematics independently through an application, which is absolutely free. The algorithms on this application are so amazing that it, it generates the solution and step-by-step -step problem solving um, instructions as well as available quizzes so that you can test and diagnose yourself, okay? So I'm gonna show you this application. So the application is Microsoft Math, which has an algorithm, which, an intelligent knowledge-based algorithm, which uh, solves problems for you, okay? I'm gonna show you this application right now. So let's just jump into it. Uh, it's this one here, math, uh, it's just called math and it's by Microsoft, okay, so Microsoft, Microsoft Math. So let's just do a few things here, let's, first thing first, we've got three um, options to interact with the application. We have a scan, we can take a picture or scan or upload a picture from our database. We can draw, so annotate using, in my case, an Apple Pencil, or we can type using the math keyboard the questions that we want the program to solve for us. Look, there's always this debate as in, can students, should students be allowed to use applications like this? Isn't it just copying and pasting? Uh, the truth of the matter is, is no, it's not copying and pasting. It's a learning process, okay? This is a coping strategy or a coping mechanism for students to be self-taught, okay? To have a mathematical inquiry and actually go learn the steps involved in problem solving. It would be one thing, uh, and I appreciate those who debate the fact that, you know, could, should they use like applications like, um, let me just see, we've got a uh, photo math, okay? Um, uh, and there's so many different variations of photo math where you just take a snap and it gives you the answer. Yeah, that's pointless because you're not gonna excel in your, amplifying your math skills by just using photo math. But you are gonna amplify your math skills if you know how the problem is solved. And that's what math, that's what Microsoft Math allows us to do. So let's start off with a question. We're gonna do a very basic question here. Um, we'll do a type question, okay? And I'll type in here the square root of 98. I'm just gonna do the square root of 98. So here what we're doing is we're simplifying radicals, okay? Simplifying radicals. And it gives us a solution here, it says, seven root two, which is approximately 9.89949 and so on. But what I wanna see is I wanna see the steps of the solution. How did it get to that point, okay? So I can go and click on here. I can say, hey, show me the steps to the solution. Uh, and it says here, look, it says factors 98 are equal to seven squared times two, rewrite the square root of the product, the square root of seven squared times two, which is approximately 9.89. And then it says, as a product of the square root, the square root of the square root of seven squared times the square root of two is approximately 9.89949 and so on. Take the square root of the root of seven squared, which is 49, okay? Therefore, we have seven root of two. So this is brilliant. It gives you all the steps, okay, that are required in order for us to solve this problem. Okay, let's go on to another question here. We'll do, um, let's edit this here. And what I wanna do, actually, I wanna draw a question now, yeah? So I'm gonna use Apple, Apple Pencil and I'm gonna draw it on to the screen. Uh, and I'm gonna do x squared plus five is equal to 49. Now you don't need the Apple Pencil. You can obviously just do it with your finger. Um, so here, here's our equation. We've got x squared plus five is equal to 49. And we're gonna go ahead and press the blue arrow to see what it gives us. So it's given us a solution here. We're solving for x and it says x is equal to 2 square root of 11 or x is equal to minus 2 square root of 11. Now that's fine, but I want to know how did they actually do that? Now I've got two options here. So you see the algorithm is so intelligent that it gives us different methods for solving this problem, okay, this quadratic equation. So we can use the quadratic formula, okay, or we can finding the square root. We can continue with that and see the step-by-step -step solution. Look at this. If I click on the first one here, it tells me what to do step by step. So it says subtract five from both sides. Now I can press this blue arrow and it goes into the next step and it says subtract five from 49 to get 44. Okay, great, so x squared is equal to 44. And then if I click it again, it says take the square root of both sides of the equation and it says x is equal to two, the square root of 11 or x is equal to minus two, the square root of 11. In fact, if I go back, 
what I can do is I can use the quadratic formula. So let's say that this question was a question for quadratic equations, okay? So we, let's use the quadratic formula. It gives us all the steps involved here. And in fact, if I click on each one of this, each one of these uh, instructions, it gives us the step-by-step -step instruction on how it was done, okay? So look, subtract 49 from both sides. And if I carry on going, maybe I don't wanna do that. And I wanna scroll down and I wanna click on this step. You see, I can see the instruction for that particular step as well. So this is a very, very powerful uh, application for independent learning for any mathematical inquiry. Okay, so, so far we've done radicals, we've done um, quadratic equations. What about a system of equations? What about simultaneous equations? So let's go back and let's write another one. This time I'll just do it with my thing, finger here. So we do 2x plus y is equal to 8. And I'm going to say, I don't know, 3x plus 2y is equal to 20. That's my simultaneous equation that I want the program to solve or the questions that I need to solve. So let's go ahead, it's recognized the problem here. So let's click next. Okay, so here's my question and it's given me the solutions straight away. X is equal to minus four, uh, Y is equal to 16. And I've got three different methods in order to solve this problem. So I can look at substitution, I can look at matrices, or I can look at elimination, okay? So let's go ahead and look at substitution and go and get the step-by-step -step method. Remember, this application is absolutely free. I didn't pay anything to download this. It's not a sponsored video, by the way, but it's an amazing tool that you can use in order to independently review some of the skills uh, that your students or yourself are trying to um, uh, go over and consolidate. So look, each of the steps are highlighted here. Okay, we can see all of the steps. Uh, if any point we wanna go and see the instruction, it tells us, hey, multiply both sides by two. Um, but that's not, that's not the most amazing part. The amazing part is this, look, not the step-by-step -step instructions, but if I go back to the actual question, Oh my God, you will not believe this. Look at this, yeah? There's a quiz. I can do a short quiz to make sure that I consolidate that skill. So look, it's generating a quiz for us. So we have the option now to choose between 10 questions or five questions, five multiple choice questions, and between five to 10 minutes to solve these, or we can do 10 questions. Now let's just quickly jump on to an example where we've got five questions and we just wanna start this. So here we have a question where we have a system of linear equations and we need to find out the solution. So. Uh, it says select the answer for the problem uh, 5x minus y is equal to 11 and 6x minus 6y is equal to 55. Let's just choose any random one here. Check the answer. Oh, we were wrong. Uh, let's go to the next problem. Let's select an answer here. So by the time we complete this quiz, I just want to quickly breeze through this so I can show you at the end what happens. Okay. At the end, it gives us a score. So a quiz complete, it gives you your score. And then it says, see the full report. Remember, all of this is absolutely free. You can independently set questions, perhaps for your son or daughter or your, your children. You can set questions for your students. Students can independently uh, go and have a mathematical inquiry and select questions for themselves. Now look at this, we can see a solution for each of the incorrect um, problems that we solved. And again, it will run through the whole system where the algorithm generates a step-by-step -step work solution. How amazing is this, huh? Okay, there are many more uh, question types that we can actually do. Let me, let's just do one more. Uh, let's get out of here. These are a couple of other quizzes that I've done. So let's jump to a different branch of mathematics. In fact, we'll do a bit of statistics. Okay, I'm gonna write a data set. So two, three, four, five, and let's just say six. And in fact, let's just say 28 here, okay? That's all I need to do, I just put the data set in. It's gonna generate the statistical averages here. So we have a mean of eight, we've got a median of 4.5, uh, a mode, and each part of these statistical averages gives us a step-by-step -step definition and work solution, okay? So least common multiple, the maximum, um, the minimum, the sum, the product, uh, the variance, the standard deviation. In fact, we can even go down and do a quiz again, okay? Now, look. Here's another part uh, of this application, which is amazing, okay? So you've got um, the step-by-step -step working out, okay? You've got a, a quiz generator. You've also got here, look, it suggests videos for you to watch here, okay? It suggests videos here. Now, unfortunately, Bear Squid isn't here, so please, like and subscribe and share our video so we can grow our community. Maybe one day we'll be lucky enough to be featured on this application as well, okay? So let's do our part and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, beyond that, there is more information. You can search the web for worksheets. Okay, you look for similar problems on the internet. The app is amazing. I am astonished on how 
um, thorough the app is, okay, and how many question types that you can solve here. Okay, just by doing a system of equations, okay, uh, simultaneous equations, doing a bit of stats, doing uh, radicals, you can do advanced trigonometry, uh, inequalities, there are so many topics that you can do just on this app. I am super, super excited about it, if you can't tell already. Now, okay, we're gonna continue these uh, this series of videos on um, reviewing some applications, because I'll be honest with you, okay, uh, there are a fair number of applications here that I would like to go through to really support some of these applications. So please do subscribe uh, and make sure you turn on notifications for these future videos. Uh, and like always, uh, thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.